What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to back up your old iPhone and restore to the brand new iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. So if you just picked up one of these new devices, I'm gonna show you how to retain all your contacts, your text messages, your applications, basically everything, and transfer it straight over to your brand new iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. So I'm gonna be doing this from the iPhone 7 Plus, but this will also work for any other iPhone. So this is gonna be a very, very simple process. So all you're gonna to wanna to do is have both the phones side by side. And you can see this phone, I haven't even gone through the initial setup screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up as well but this is gonna be very simple so just go ahead and set up both phones side by side and on the old phone that's currently activated right now let's go ahead to the settings we're gonna to go to right here and go to iCloud we're gonna go down until we see iCloud backup and we're gonna have an iCloud backup. If it hasn't been backed up in a while, make sure you back it up immediately before this. So I'm gonna back mine up right now. Shouldn't take too long, but it's just gonna depend on how much data you have stored. And while we're waiting on that to back up, we could start on the setup process on the iPhone 8 Plus here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do English. United States. And you can see here it actually says quick start. If you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. So if you are currently on iOS 11, this is going to be the way to go. So unfortunately, I'm still on iOS 10 on my iPhone 7 Plus, but if you are on iOS 11, it's going to make this process a lot simpler. But we're going to go ahead and set up manually, and we're going to choose our Wi-Fi network right here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi, put in the password, go ahead and join the Wi-Fi network. And you can see our backup here is pretty much done with iCloud. So there we go. Our iCloud backup has finished. Now you could also do an iCloud iTunes backup if you prefer to do it on the computer, but I would recommend iCloud because it makes everything so much easier. So you can see here it says could not activate iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and try again on the activation screen right here. And there we go, you can see it did activate the second time around. So if it doesn't activate for you right away, just keep on trying and you can see it shows your phone number right there. Go ahead and click on next once it does activate. Now, of course, if you do have an unlocked variant, it's not going to go through that process. It's just going to activate very easily the first time. So it is taking a long time here, and that's because this is the launch day, the launch morning of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So I'm sure the servers are overloaded over there on Verizon or wherever your carrier is. So if you're watching this at a later date, you're probably not going to have to wait this long. All right, so since it's taking so long for mine to activate, I'm just going to go ahead and start over. We already have our Wi-Fi enabled, so we're not going to have to do this again. So it's going to go ahead straight to the back to the activation screen right here. So hopefully it speeds it up this time. If it does, I'm going to recommend you guys do that as well. If it does take a long time to activate so next there we go so if yours is slowing down if it's taking forever to activate just go and cl click on restart or start over and then go back through the process again and you should activate right away like we did right there so all you have to do now is put in the billing zip code and social security the last four digits so there we go we did finally activate you can see there it shows the phone number and the order number once again so let's go and click on next and now we're going to go ahead and restore from our iCloud backup so first we're going to set up touch ID you can set it up later if you want but I'd recommend you start out by doing it so go ahead and place your finger on here multiple times in different areas you you know, just get different parts of your thumb right there on the Touch ID sensor. Adjust your grip, go ahead and do it different ways. You would unlock your phone like out of your pocket or something like that. Go ahead and get just different parts of your thumb. There we go, complete. Go ahead and hit, click on continue. Then it's gonna want you to create a passcode. Now, unfortunately, you can't skip this. You used to be able to skip this, but you can't anymore, it looks like. So we could just create one. I'm just gonna do all zeros for now use anyway and now we get to the apps and data section which is where we're actually going to restore from our iCloud or iTunes backup so if you did iTunes you would click on restore from iTunes backup if you did iCloud like I did we're gonna go ahead and click on restore from iCloud backup then you're gonna have to sign in to your iCloud account right here there we go so once you enter that in updating iCloud settings right here go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions and you can see here I do have a lot of applications so it's gonna take a while to put all of this onto the brand new iPhone 8 plus but the good thing is you're not gonna lose anything. So there we go, it did take a little while to bring this up, but now you're gonna have the option to choose which backup you want. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's the latest one, of course the one that we just did before going through this process. So you can see here the name of my phone, BB7 Plus, which is the iPhone 7 Plus, today at 9.19 a.m. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you can customize the settings here if you want. So if you want to enable certain things, you can as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on continue. You can set up Apple Pay if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up later in Wallet. Siri, you can set up Siri later in settings as well. That's not a big deal right now. App analytics, you can share this with app developers, but I don't like to because that does eat away at battery life. So go ahead and don't share on that. True tone display. Now this is a new option here with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So you can simply hold this button right here to see without true tone display and let go to see the true tone display in action, which is pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and keep that on right there. Go ahead and click on continue. Then you're gonna be able to set up the click for the home button. So let's go ahead and click get started. I personally like two the best, but you may wanna go through this and click your favorite click. As far as the display zoom, I always go for standard. So then we're gonna start restoring from iCloud or from iTunes, whatever you chose right here. And again, this could take a little while if you do have a lot of things like I do. 
have a lot of applications, a lot of text messages, a lot of contacts, a lot of photos. So it could take a good while here. So just be patient with this. So there we go. We did reboot. That was a lot quicker than I thought. It was not very long at all. It said about five minutes, then it went down to about three minutes and took about three minutes. So not very long at all for the restore process to carry over on the iPhone 8. Then you're going to get this screen right here like it's restoring on the iPhone 8. And then once this finishes up, you're going to be good to go and you can go to your home screen. You're going to see you have the same wallpaper. You have all your contacts, your text, all your applications, everything the same as it was on your old iPhone. So definitely super zippy. This was actually quicker than the iPhone 7 Plus when I came from the 6S to the 7. Definitely quicker here on the iPhone 8, which is always a good thing. So there we go. We are finishing up and now it should take us right to the lock screen right there. There we go. So I did put the passcode as 000. You're going to have to do that to enable Touch ID. Restore completed. Your iPhone was restored successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow and then you're done. Go and click on continue. And there we go. You can see it says welcome to iPhone. So let's go and click on get started and you can see it's starting to download all of our applications right there. So you can see we have the exact same background. Our apps are laid out the same as well. They are downloading here on the iPhone 8 Plus because it does take a while. We do also have some of these stock applications put back on the device, but you can see it's pretty much identical. We have all our contacts. We have our pictures. We have our text messages. Let me go ahead to the text messages just to show you. And you can see there we have all our text messages intact as well. So some of the new ones that just came did not actually show up on the iPhone 8 Plus yet, but you can see there that they will eventually once I do get this phone off of airplane mode, which I just turned it into, they're going to start going over to this device instead of the old one. So just to show you the contacts as well, you can see we have all our contacts in here as well, which is just awesome. You're just going to have to wait for all those apps to download and then you'll be completely good. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That's how you restore from your old iPhone to the brand new iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. I hope you did get some use out of this. Hope it was a little bit helpful. If you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a ton more iPhone 8 coverage and comparisons coming very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.